in this video we are going to discuss about access list access list are nothing but access control list and these are the basic of the security tools and you know that these access list enable us that's to identify interesting traffic by providing the basic capability to match the packet and also based on the number of criteria here so you see the interesting traffic can then be subjected to the various special operations depending upon the special applications here but you see different types of acls will be discussed in the next videos about how to configure the acl and how to apply and give permissions to the unwanted users or how to restrict unwanted users and how to give permissions for the uh, other hosts to give permissions to your router so you see that the technical name of access list is access control list and this entries of access control lists are called access control list entries then these are known as access list statements and the term statements is given because it controls list is often used in practice and these lists here are referred to simple access list of acls so you see these are primarily used in filtering to permit the user or the host to get access to your router and also deny packets through interfaces in order to execute some exercise control traffic flowing through the network so it will it will control the access flow of packets as well as it will be providing a special security tool to your router then this is not only used access list and they can also be used like situations necessarily involve filtering of the packets so you see here that what are the list available here or what are the types of access we can provide you see management access use you can use this access list as a management access to control which host can access your router using telnet or ssh and also by applying this to vty lines using the access class commands and also you see that this statement of line configuration mode so you can use this access class commands or or the statements in a, in line configuration mode on your vty lines so that that the host which can access the router can be restricted and also route advertisement you can use this access list to have a route advertisements on networks or will be advertised by this using protocols like rip eigrp and ospf here so again debug output so send you see here cisco ios debug commands are very useful in getting the information about debugging your software as well as deep network troubleshooting also can be performed using this debug output option of access control list so coming about the encryption when encryption traffic between the two routers or a router and a for firewall you must tell the router that the traffic encrypted so which traffic is to send and which traffic is to deny and also what is the traffic to send unencrypted and what traffic to be encrypted and also what needs to be dropped also is controlled by the access control list so when you are creating access control list or configuration of access control list it's a good idea to create them on a notepad and work on it and then apply it in your lab or apply it in your environment so this is about access control list